The next topic after the functions and limits is all about the derivative. So, the derivative is all about slope, wherein the slope is the change in y over the change in x. So, for, for example, kung may graph tayo sa coordinate plane natin in x and y axis, sa isang line or may isang function tayo dito, when we are going to calculate the slope, rise over run, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, kung ilang units yung y over the x, yun yung ating magiging slope. We can find an average slope between two points. So, sa functions or sa curve ko, we can find the average slope between two points in my curve. For example, ito yung, yung height ng aking point from the first point is 24 units. Then, yung length naman niya from the first point to the second point is 15. So, that is 24 over 15 since our slope is y over x or the rise over run. But how do we find the slope at a point? There is nothing to measure. So, for example, kung gusto natin kunin yung slope sa isang point ng graph, okay, how do we find it? Okay, we use here the delta y and the delta x or the change in y and the change in x. So, that is where the derivative is about. The changes in y with respect to x. But with derivatives, we use a small difference, then have it shrink towards 0. The steps in determination of the derivative, for example, y is equal to the function of x. The first step is to replace x by x plus delta x and replace also y by y plus delta y. And yung magiging resulting function ko is magiging y plus delta y is equal to function of x plus delta x. And then next step, by subtraction, eliminate y, thus obtaining a formula for delta y in terms of x and delta x. So yung magiging result ng equation ko, kung ililipat ko yung y dito sa right side ng aking equation, magiging minus y or y is equivalent to function of x. So, magiging delta y is equal to the function of x plus delta x minus the function of x. The next step, by some suitable transformation, throw the right member into a form which contains delta x explicitly as a factor. So, kung ano yung magiging result nito, kailangan kong i-expand yung aking part ng equation wherein yung delta x ko is explicitly as a factor na siya so that we can proceed to the next step wherein we can divide the equation through by delta x. So the equation left and right part of our equation will be divided by delta x. Then the last step is to determine the limit as delta x approaches 0. So yung delta x ko na matitira will be substituted by Zero. So, for example, we have to differentiate the function y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x minus 2. The first step is to replace x by delta x and y by delta y. So, y plus delta y is equal to 4 times x plus delta x squared since ang x ko dito is naka squared. So, yung quantity na x plus delta x is dapat naka squared din siya. Minus 3 times x plus delta x minus 2. So, na-replace na natin yung y into y plus delta y and x into x plus delta x. The next, we have to expand this quantity. Expanding, that results to x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Take note that our x and our delta x cannot be combined. Okay? Hindi siya pwedeng i-combine. Iba yung Iba yung variable x, iba yung variable delta x. The next one is to distribute 4 sa ating expanded form. So, magiging 4x squared plus 8x delta x plus 4 delta x squared. Then, minus 3x minus 3 delta x. Since na-distribute na din natin yung 3 sa x and delta x. The next step is to subtract y the value of y into the right 
side of our equation. So, y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x minus 2. So, ito yung isasubtract isa natin sa ating right side ng equation. Okay, so by distributing the minus sign sa labas ng ating parenthesis, that results to negative 4x squared plus 3x, negative times negative is positive, then plus 2. Then, combine like terms, makakancel natin yung dalawang 4x squared kasi positive yung isa, negative yung isa. Also, the 3x and also the negative 2 and positive 2. So, yung matitira is 8x delta x plus 4 times delta x squared minus 3 delta x. So, ito yung sinasabi by some suitable transformation, yung delta x natin is factor na siya explicitly sa ating equation. So, we can proceed to dividing by delta x yung ating equation. So, our 8x delta x divided by delta x results to 8x only kasi makakancel na yung delta x plus 4 delta x squared over delta x mababawasan ng isa yung ating delta x. So, magiging 4 delta x na lang then, yung ating 3, delta x divided by delta x, magiging 3 na lang siya. Delta y over delta x, that is also the same with the derivative of y with respect to x or dy over dx. The next step is that we are going to have the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So, dito na natin isa substitute yung 0 sa ating delta x. So, yung natitira natin is 8x plus 4 delta x minus 3. Then, substitute the 0 sa ating delta x. Makakancel yung ating 4. Then, the result is dy over dx which is equal to 8x minus 3. This is the differentiated value of our function. The next example y is equal to x cubed minus 5x plus 2. The same process. Yung x cubed natin magiging x plus delta x cubed minus 5 times x plus delta x plus 2. Then, we have to expand the cube. Okay? So, magiging x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. Then, sa 5x plus Delta x, i-distribute natin yung 5 sa dalawang terms. Tinanggal lang natin yung bracket. Okay, so, subtract y to our right side. Okay, so, distributing negative sign to our 3 terms dito. x cubed, negative x cubed plus 5x minus 2. Then, combining like terms, makakancel yung x cubed natin. Then, ang ating 5x din, pati ang ating... Two. So, yung matitira, 3x squared delta x plus 3x times delta x squared plus delta x cubed minus 5 delta x. Then, explicit factor na yung ating delta x. So, we have to divide the equation by delta x. So, the result will be 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared minus 5. Then, Next, we have to find for the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0. Then, substitute 0 to delta x. Magiging 3x squared plus 3x times 0 plus 0 squared minus 5. Then, yung matitira will be 3x squared minus 5 for our differential of y with respect to our x. The third one, y is equal to 1 over x plus 7. First, replace subtracting the value of y which is 1 over x plus 7 yung y natin isa subtract natin siya sa right side ng ating equation then our lcd is x plus 7 times x plus delta x plus 7 so our numerator will result to x plus 7 minus x plus delta x plus 7 then distribute natin yung negative na ito sa tatlong terms natin sa numerator. So, magiging x plus 7 minus x minus delta x minus 7. Then, cancel the x kasi positive yung isa, negative yung isa. Also, the 7 kasi magiging 0 na siya. 
So, matitira sa ating numerator will be delta x over x plus 7 times x plus delta x plus 7. Then, dividing both sides of our equation by delta x, makakancel ngayon yung ating delta x na numerator. So, ang matitira negative 1 na lang siya over the same denominator. Then, substituting the value of delta x as 0, yung magiging result ng ating equation will be negative 1 over x plus 7 times x plus 0 plus 7 or tanggalin natin yung 0 magiging x plus 7 times x plus 7 yung denominator and we can combine into a certain quantity wherein our x plus 7 is raised to the second power. So, our derivative of y with respect to x is equal to negative 1 over x plus 7 squared. Next example, y is equal to 3x minus the square root of x. So, the first step, again, is to replace. Then, we have to distribute 3 sa ating dalawang terms. So, magiging 3x plus 3 delta x minus the square root of x plus delta x. Ililipat natin yung y sa kabila and y has the value of 3x minus delta x. And then, distributing the minus sign sa loob ng ating parenthesis, magiging negative 3x plus the square root of x. And canceling out 3x, then the result will be 3 delta x minus square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x. Then, dividing both sides of our equation by delta x. So, sa 3 delta x, matatanggal na or makakancel out na natin yung delta x agad. Uunahin natin ngayon yung delta x minus the square root of x plus delta x, which is yun yung ide-divide natin sa delta x. Okay, so by rationalizing in algebra, kailangan nating Tanggalin yung square root sign sa ating numerator. So, we have to multiply the numerator and our denominator by the square root of x plus square root of x plus delta x. So, the result is sa numerator natin, wala na tayong square root sign. So, that is x minus x plus delta x. But, yung ating denominator is delta x times square root of x plus square root of x plus delta x. Then, distributing the minus to our two variables here sa numerator, magiging x minus x minus delta x and canceling the two x's, yung matitira will be 3 plus negative delta x over delta x. Then, canceling the delta x, yung matitira sa ating numerator is negative 1 na lang. Okay, over the same denominator, then substituting the 0 to our delta x, magiging 3 minus 1 over square root of x plus the square root of x plus 0. Then we have to combine these two like terms. Okay, yung square root of x natin, pwede natin siyang i-combine into 2 square root of x. So our result for the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 3 minus 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay, next example, y is equal to 1 over square root of x. So, replacing, that is the result. Then, subtracting y to the right side of our equation, magiging 1 over square root of x plus delta x minus 1 over square root of x. Then, by LCD, magiging square root of x minus square root of x plus delta x. Okay, yung LCD natin is square root of x times square root of x plus delta x. Then, by rationalizing the numerator, kailangan tanggalin yung square root, we have to multiply it by the same value except plus yung ating sign sa gitna. So, the result will be x minus x plus delta x. Okay, so distributing the negative or the minus sign sa ating numerator magiging x minus x minus delta x and canceling out the x. So yung matitira sa numerator will be negative delta x and dividing both sides of our equation by delta x makakancel din yung ating 
delta x. So, our numerator is negative 1. Our denominator is the same. Then, substituting the value of 0 into our delta x. So, sa lahat ng ating delta x dito, magiging 0 na siya. So, that is the result. Negative 1 over square root of x times square root of x times square root of x plus square root of x. Okay. So, square root of x times square root of x is equal to x. Then, square root of x plus square root of x is equal to 2 square root of x. Okay. Combining by multiplication magiging 2 x raised to 3 halves. Our derivative of y with respect to x will be negative 1 over 2x raised to 3 halves. That is all for our topic, the derivative. So our next topic will be the slope and rate of change. So if you have any questions, just comment down on our discussion section.